Welcome back to another property tour. If this is your first time tuning in, my name is Joshua Guevara. I'm an associate broker with the Am Real Estate Group here in Albuquerque, New Mexico. And today we are back at it again with another property tour here on the west side of Albuquerque, New Mexico. Uh, we're gonna be located off of Montano and Unser area. We're gonna be looking at this beautiful gem over here. The address is going to be 7919 Mauna Loao Drive, Northwest 87120 is the zip code. This is in the Volcano Cliffs subdivision. Uh, really sought after area, really high end. This listed, this listed by Robin Rieger. Big shout out to her with Colwell Banker Legacy for allowing me to shoot this property tour today. Uh, this listing is priced at 875,000. Again, this is a new build, 2022. All right, the architect was Eduardo Chavez and the builder was Casa Corrales LLC. So shout out to them. It looks like they put a beautiful piece of work together today. This is gonna be a three bedroom, three bath, two car garage, 3,019 square feet, has two furnaces, two refrigerated air units, and I can't wait to show you what the inside and courtyard in, in uh, courtyard in between the house looks like. It's actually quite amazing. Uh, first, we're gonna go ahead and start off really quick. I really love this driveway. Um, really long, can park a lot of cars in there two car garage good fit it actually has a lot of room in there when we get in there we'll take a look uh, you can actually put up some shelving if needed uh, really quick on this side you're actually gonna have your clean out okay you're gonna have a French drain that goes underneath your driveway all right so you want to just keep mind of that you don't want to get it to get clogged up or have any vermin living in there anything crazy like that over here you actually have two more clean outs and a valve cover box for your water line coming into the property and then we actually have one more. I'm not gonna let you guys look. You can't look yet. We gotta wait till we go inside. <laughs> I can't show you that courtyard. Uh, really quick, here's a, another set of clean outs that are on the uh, back side of the property, just so an easy access for the uh, owner suite. So this is actually the owner suite right here. This is gonna be the back door to it. I'm actually just gonna take a lap around, show you guys that there is a good, a good gutter system going around, all the way around on this one. And then they do have these easy, easy turn knobs. I like for the spigots, that's actually really cool. And of course, I do love that this is fully landscaped. You're gonna come in, unlike most uh, new build communities that you go into, the front yard is landscaped, but the backyard is not. Now these windows, I love, they're huge. I feel like they're like seven, eight feet tall. Really, really awesome. I'm sure in the afternoon, it brings in a ton of sunlight. All right, so let's go and jump in. Starting off, I love the entry door. Definitely looking sleek. About seven and a half nickel brush on the finish for the handles here. All right, when we first come in, we're gonna see 33 by 33 tile. This is gonna be throughout the entire home. Uh, you're gonna have a five inch baseboard that matches, okay? And there is a trim that goes all the way around that. So every wall that you see has this exact trim. Just kind of close up on it. Boom. So that exact trim is everywhere. Uh, once we pass, the initial entryway it's actually going to turn into 10 foot ceilings so do keep that in mind of course on your entry you're going to have your coat closet okay there is no light in there so keep that in mind oh also uh, i believe this is going to be your box for the cat 5 okay so if you wanted to hook up your ethernet the, your box is going to go in there all right because i wasn't able to find another one uh in the property so i'm assuming that's going to go through there and of course if you have a security system or whatever it might be it might get plugged up there as well because there is an outlet uh, one thing you will see about this home, this is the front office, okay? A little tight, no closet, but it does have the Cat5 and the coax cable, and we have an outlet on every single wall. Definitely bringing in a ton of light with this huge window. I definitely dig it. And uh, uh, decent views, right? Not too bad. I think you like more of the view when you're gonna be, you know, in the courtyard or even in the backyard. It's definitely a lot better on that side. And of course, leaving this house this looks amazing. That is for sure. So coming over here, you're gonna have your half bath. This is gonna be for your guests. We're gonna have granite countertops, all right? Nickel brush finish on the handles, faucet as well, boom. I wish the mirror was a little more decorative uh, and the lights are a little bit brighter. Maybe have uh, the LED lights actually on the roof than on the fixture maybe, or maybe just add another light to bring us some more light in this. Uh, definitely got heating and cooling coming through the top over here. Awesome, and of course you got your fart fan, so that's always a good thing. Low efficiency toilet, right? Got the one and two flush. Not two shabs. Ooh, here we go, this is it. It's what I've been waiting for. 
Here is your living, dining, and kitchen all in one flow. All right, this hallway is gonna actually turn you around and lead you to the bedrooms. Okay, again, 10 foot ceilings. Uh, over here behind this little decorative piece, you actually have an intake for your heating and cooling system. Again, there's gonna be two systems, so I'll point out the other one a little bit later, but uh, right there is gonna be the furnace air intake for this room, okay? Love the ceiling fans. I love the can lighting throughout, LEDs. Look at that, oh man, that makes it look real good. Gosh, really good. Over here on this wall, actually, I found the Cat5 and coax cable. So this is where it would be located um, if you were trying to hard line your TV or computers, whatever the case may be, uh, that's where the, the uh, line is at. Of course, into this dining area, and then forgot to mention, these are about 17 to 18 foot, all right, accordion panoramic doors. So these actually, what happens is this initial door, we'll open it up real quick. This initial door opens all the way up, okay? And what you do is you slide each tile over until it reaches its spot. And then you click on this bad boy and whoop, it folds right open, okay? Then you bring the next one and then you'll see these little slots here. There you go. That'll let you know you're, you're on the tracker, right? You're on track to, to not make it pop off and <laughs> drop one of your accordion doors. That would be great. Um, over here, of course, let's jump into the kitchen. I'm sure everyone's like, oh my gosh. Uh, waterfall granite island, okay? This is eight feet by four feet with a one inch face. Just look at that. Ooh, dang. That's looking nice. I, I didn't check to see, yep, there we go. Yep, we got some outlets there. So we got electricity there, that's awesome. Definitely a ton of space. I feel like this is definitely uh, the main area. Everyone will probably be hanging out. Definitely gonna need some more chairs for this. Um, love the granite countertops and of course the granite backsplash over there. Um, kind of surprised they didn't put a backsplash besides that, but still looks really good, really elegant. Uh, of course, love the uh, range hood coming out the top. Always dig that. Surprised that they didn't do a chef style kitchen, uh, but again, still makes it work a lot more functional. I feel like you can lay out a lot more on the cabinet. Or I mean, on the on the table to, on the countertop. Sorry, uh, five burner stove top. Okay, got your oven. Ooh, actually, air fryer oven. Sorry, it's a thin Q. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Let's check out these cabinets real quick. Yep, soft closing. They're gonna be about 32 inch. Actually, no, they look about like 28 inches. Okay, these taller ones that are, that, those look like 32. All right, so 32 staggered to the 28. There is no crown mold, but you know, if you wanted to get that done, I don't think that'd be too much of an issue, right? I, of course, forgot to mention LG dishwasher. Okay, stainless steel. And it's gonna be LG for the fridge there. Uh, here is gonna be your pantry. It is huge. This could definitely be a closet, uh, an office. Um, and just a huge pantry at this point. I mean, definitely a ton of space. I don't think you're running out of food if you have this thing filled. Not a problem. Uh, let's go ahead. I, I don't know, I don't wanna jump through there. Actually, you know, let's go through the courtyard real quick just to kind of show you guys what it's like. So this is the courtyard, and of course this gives you access into your owner's suite, and then your owner's suite goes to the actual backyard uh, that we already kind of toured. But two different little hangout areas. I definitely dig it because I feel like the sun wouldn't be too much of an issue. Uh, I feel like for the most part, you'd be shaded for majority of the day. Of course, I would say at, you know, two, two to 12, you're definitely getting some, some sun. But after that, it's definitely a, definitely a nice shaded little area. I love these little lights, making it really pop. I couldn't get that one on. Uh, there are a lot of light switches, I'll say, for this one. So do keep that in mind. Ooh, really quick, let's get this knocked out. It's gonna be the service room, okay? Definitely huge granite countertop okay lots of space to fold tons of space to of course uh load all your stuff right towels whatever the case may be cleaners all that good stuff let's see if they're soft closing oh my gosh everything's soft closing in here of course it's a custom home all right back into this oversized garage okay you do have a little bit of more room on the sides okay see that boom and boom definitely bright lighting i love it Right, you can fit cabinets over here, not a problem. All right, let's take a look. Of course, this is gonna be your first furnace, okay? And you see this copper line coming in, that's letting you know that your AC unit's most likely above it somewhere. Okay, this is a 50 gallon, 40,000 BTU water heater, okay? All the way up to code, obviously, with the green tag, have the expansion tank at the top. 
T-leg down at the bottom, drip pan, storm straps. And of course a straight line coming out for the relief line. Boom, all right, not too bad. Let's go ahead and get back onto the good stuff. We'll go through these hallways and get to the guest bedrooms. There's a Jack and Jill set up for the other bathroom, uh, which I, I kind of don't mind. I mean, if you, if you have kids, you know, they can definitely share, but of course they probably, you know, argue a little bit in the morning. <laughs> really quick before we jump into the bedrooms. Here's your other furnace, okay? There's gonna be your copper line to let you know, again, most like your refrigerator unit is right above it, okay? Uh, air intake for the bottom. All right, not too bad. I like the can lighting through the hallway. Definitely dig that. And of course, again, I love these like th thin, long windows. Um, again, let's jump into this guest bedroom. Every room, again, does have Cat5 coax, as you can see. We do have an outlet on every single wall. I like the paintings. Actually, those are for sale. And it is $1,150, Susanna Chavez. If you guys are interested, you can hit her up. Ooh, didn't see that the first time. All right, got another box here for your electric. Okay, that's where the fuse box is gonna be. I like this uh, double door closet. Not too bad, it even has a lock on it, which is kind of crazy. All right, not too bad. Check in here, boom. Again, we're at the Jack and Jill kind of set up. Okay, it's in between the rooms. Uh, we actually have this huge mirror, so I guess one can get ready in one and they won't fight. That's actually, that's perfect. I'm gonna move my kids in. We're ready. <laughs> 12 by 24 tile on the wall. Again, we still have that nice trim that we have following the baseboards. Kind of take a double look here. Boom, see that nice trim? I'm digging it. I like the color scheme. I really like the color scheme. And of course, tile going all the way up to the ceiling. You're gonna have a tub insert, which isn't too bad. It looks really deep. Gosh, I wanna say like almost three and a half feet deep. That's, that's really deep. All right, low efficiency toilet, granite countertop for your vanity. And then you got a GFCI outlet, dig that with the mirror, cover, awesome. All right, one thing I did not notice is that every room doesn't have a return air. We only have the two main return airs, the one in the hallway and the one in the, uh, the great room, living room area. Uh, again, outlets on every wall. There's gonna be your coax and cat five. Okay, let's open these bad boys up. Not too bad. I wish the shelving would be a little bit more elegant um, than just the rod, right? Just something a little bit extra. But again, you know, I get it. Hey, it makes sense. As long as it's there, you can technically build your closet the way it is is what the way I'm feeling that they kind of came about it, right? They put the rod iron in and they're like, hey, if you want to build it with some cabinets, you guys go ahead and do it. So let's check this out from the corner. Not too bad, definitely enough space. Uh, over here is gonna have your coax and, and your uh, Cat5, okay? Um, I'm sure you could definitely rearrange this, but I think this is like the most functional way to kind of leave the room. Uh, you do have your thermostat in here, so that's good. Your kids ain't gonna be screwing with it. That's always a good one. Uh, come into this closet, again, decent space. I mean, it's not huge, huge, but it's definitely good, good space. And I feel like if you built the cabinets out, the right way in here, this would be super, super functional and you can stuff a ton of stuff. <laughs> Shoes, preferably. Let's go ahead and jump into the owner suite bathroom. Ooh. All right, I, I still think I'm gonna I'd change the fixtures up top. I think I would change the fixtures up top. It's the only thing I would really change about this little look right here. You give me, you give me your thoughts down there in the comments, all right? Check out low efficiency toilet, all right? I wish it was more of a, co a closet, right? Like a water closet. Um, of course, we're gonna have a garden tub here. Ooh. Yeah, that's looking nice. I dig it. And then look at the faucet. That's super crazy, I dig it. Look at that little water look, you know? And then right here, you got your shower. Boom, tile going all the way to the top, 12 by 24, okay? Is this a double hinge? Yep, double hinge door. Not too bad. I love the soap stands. Usually I like soap boxes, but soap stands, and I'm gonna go ahead and say that's for the shaver. That's that's for the shaving the legs, right? I mean, you let me know. You guys let me know. I think that's a shaver down there, right? You leave your so shaving soap. Women are like, okay, wow, bam, 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 done. All right, we got honeycomb, mud pad, all right, tile. Definitely digging it. 
looks real good. This door is super, super on point. Super on point. It's not, it's not loosey goosey. It's not sliding all over the place. Feel comfortable moving it around. Coming into the backyard again, boom. That is gonna be it for this tour. Honestly, man, I, I really think this is an amazing build. They did a great, great job on this. I love the layout. I feel like you can definitely get backyard access on that side. So if you did have some toys, right? You just have to jump the curb a little bit, go a little bit of four wheeling. But after that, man, it's a, it's definitely a destination for you to put your RV or something, all right? Well, I wanna thank you guys for tuning in for this tour. Again, if you have any questions or concerns, or you know, if you wanna share this to a friend, I would definitely love that. You guys can reach out to me, 505-363-7926, or you can email joshua at mregrp.com. Thank you guys for tuning in. You have a good one.